Hi, this is Caitlin from Reviewed.com, and I'm here with Anthony and John, otherwise known as HGTV's Kitchen Cousins. How are you guys? Good. Doing how are you good. doing? Doing good. So, welcome to Dwell on Design. What have you seen so far? What do you like? I mean, the whole show is so well curated. You know, you feel like you're walking around in the pages of the magazine, which is great. I mean, if, if you're a, an avid reader of the publication, you can actually put your hands on all the things you see in the pages. So, I mean, for me, uh, the Stickswoods guys are phenomenal. My cousin, as soon as I walked in, he's like, I have to show you this product. <laughs> it's unbelievable because we love doing the old and new. So we were always using Reclaim Woods, but to have a product that's so easy that you can just put up, anybody can do it on a feature wall in your home, we're going to be doing it in a restaurant that we're designing and building now. So that is that is on our radar. We're using that product. So very cool. I have to ask you guys, you do a lot of work in Jersey. And here you are out in L.A. in sort of the hub of design. What do you see as the differences really between sort of the East Coast and the West Coast design mentality? I guess, you know, out here because it's everything's so much more spread out, right? So you have a lot more homes than you do apartment buildings. And we're used to working in a lot more dense kind of construction. So where you can do a mid-century modern interior and it's fine, it, you know, the interiors feel however you want them to feel. Um, the overall aesthetic incorporating the yard and the exterior mid-mod kind of features and aesthetics. It's a lot tougher. You, it's a lot tougher at home. We don't have the beautiful weather that you guys do year round. <laughs> right now, I'm building my house in New Jersey. Luckily, I'm not in a block setting on my house is by itself. So I said, you know what, forget all the rules. I'm not doing what's in New Jersey. And I did a contemporary barn. I mean, going with corrugated metal on the outside, Ipe, I put them right in. And when I have people from New Jersey come to my home, they're like, I don't see this anywhere on the East Coast. This is very different. Yeah, speaking of sort of small spaces and designing for small spaces, I actually noticed that there is a lot of stuff at the show this year, especially that's catering toward that smaller space. Um, GE has the, the new micro kitchen. I don't know if you've gotten to check that out. Um, is that a future for home design, designing for small spaces? It's around 75% of our population is going to be living in cities in the next 25 years. So when you think about that many people going to New York, Miami, Chicago, LA, you need those small spaces and you need to pack a lot of people in. So having that small space design is huge right now. Uh, we actually, our company, Brunelleschi Construction, just got hired to do an 87 unit micro um, complex in Jersey City. Um, and I mean, if you want to talk about small spaces, Klee is like the person to talk about. Just, <laughs> they, they, they're, they're, they're Murphy bed system. Like it's not what you think of, like the old springs and the bed shoots up. I it's think, Murphy bed on steroids. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's call it what it is. I think <laughs> I, I think, take it to another level there. I think micro and uh, and high density living is, is here to stay. And, um, you know, there's a lot of great products for it. What are you keeping in mind when you're trying to choose appliances yep. for renovation projects? Um, the two biggest things I would say for space saving, number one, um, you want to look at 18-inch slimline dishwashers instead of 24s. I mean, they take up a considerable amount of your of your space. And then refrigerators as well. You want to go tall and slim. And when you look at U.S. appliances, a lot of them are shorter and fatter. So 36 inches wide is a lot of space to take up if you're talking about only an 8-foot galley run of kitchen. Absolutely. Anthony said, like, because we love European design, we get a lot of inspiration from that. In Europe, they have the small refrigerators because they shop for the day. That's it. You want the fresh foods. Yep. You want the things that you're going to make for that day and then restock you know, going, going forward throughout the week. And I think that there's a, a sense of greener living as well, which yep. we're starting to become more and more interested in. I've seen a lot of that on the show floor as well. I think one of the biggest things we're seeing now is uh, solar is really taking its next evolution. And instead of these big old, ugly, commercial-looking solar panels, they're being integrated into shingles. So you don't even see them. They don't, they don't negatively affect the aesthetics of your home anymore, but you get all the benefits of being able to sell power back to the grid, you know, reduce that carbon footprint and, and the like. So it's that I'm really excited to see where it goes. Yeah, and uh, another big thing that we always talk about on the show when we're designing is lighting. And for us right now, LEDs is Absolutely. what is the hottest thing. I mean, it's funny because I remember a year ago we're at a home show and someone's asking us like, oh, do you guys use LEDs? And it wasn't at the forefront, but in one year, LEDs is just hot. You know, when you have an LED bulb now that you can dim and you can beautifully light a space and actually show it off, and you're not using those ugly curly Q CFLs that, <laughs> that like flicker when you try to dim them and it's just horrible. 
What are the sort of three top things that people don't usually think about when they're renovating their kitchen and you really wish they would? What's great is we tell people, come to shows like this. Because when you come to a, a Dwell show where they have all these brand new products, that's when you start taking that binder, packing it full, and you say, all right, I got my idea for my kitchen. I can put this, 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 and this. You get everything ordered. It's there. So when your contractor shows up, he's working on the spot and he's getting everything in there. Well, guys, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Um, I believe you have a new show coming up yeah, starting soon. Yeah, uh, so season two of Cousins Undercover on HGTV starts this Wednesday night, the 25th. Every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central for the West Coast guys. We always uh, been screwed up. We don't I screw know up for time. Sure. Yeah, I screw up the time zones all the time. So check your local listings. But uh, every Wednesday night, Cousins Undercover.